everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. And if not, I hope you at least had some good books to you know, escape into. And hopefully I can help you with that today because I've got a messed up one for you. Like, If y'all haven't figured out by now, I love like fairy tales and Disney. And so I found the perfect messed up series. It's a four part series by Anita Vale, and it starts off telling Cinderella's story in Sinful Cinderella. It's a on Kindle Unlimited, and it's mostly very quick to read. I'm actually on the fourth book now, and it's, oh, it's a doozy. I'm loving it. It's the, take all, you know, these princesses that are, you know, meek and sweet and you like them and turn them into just the most heinous villains. Like, it's awesome. And they're very quick reads for the most part. Like, Cinderella's is about 125-ish pages. The next one is Sneaky Snow White and is only about 150 it's not until we get to the last one that we actually get a full-length novel. So, Sinful Cinderella stars, you guessed it, Cinderella, who, I mean, at least she's never been my favorite anyway. The whole be a meek servant and just look beautiful and then some guy will come and save you. And your life will be perfect so long as you're okay being married to a man that doesn't know what you look like. You can't even just go with hair color that has every girl in the whole kingdom try on a shoe. So you better have very notable feet. <laughs> yeah. But in this one, it's like, well, she pretends to be a meek little servant. And she is gorgeous. Magically. So. But she ain't sweet at all. And Prince Charming ain't charming. So, yeah. They're a match made in hell. They deserve each other. Because this starts off, I mean, Cinderella, like, her mom dies in childbirth. So, of course, we've got the, she doesn't have a mommy. And so, Daddy Dearest has to go find her a new mother and some sisters to play with. And she absolutely loves her father, idolizes him. He's, like, the best dad ever. Until he kicks the bucket when she's like nine. And so now it's just stepmother and the evil two stepsisters. And she is, as in the movies and everything else, their servant. Though she admits like, eh, it's kind of my fault because I let them tell me what to do and took on doing all these extra chores so that I'd be useful and they'd like me. And I used to get along with you know, my two new stepsisters, and we actually played together for, like, a year, and then stepmother discouraged that, because, you know, they're lordly ladies. They don't befriend the help. So, yeah, and as she's grown up, they all for hate each other more and more, till her only friends are the two rats in the attic where she lives. But don't feel too sorry for her. She has a fairy godnutter. Yes, not godmother, godnutter. Because the woman is crazy and stinks of smoke because she's always got her pipe. And she ain't exactly a nice old lady as we see even more in the second book. And we find out why she's so nice to Cinderella despite her lack of deserving it. And it basically makes the deal of every, if you're good... I will give you like this magical canister that will get white magic in it and you can use it to better yourself, you know, do things that will help you. So as much as she hates her family, she does these chores with a smile and only, you know, cusses them out and murders them 50 different ways in her head. But she always plasters on a fake little smile and goes and does it so she gets some white magic. And instead of using it the way God Nutter plan, you know, to make herself charming and witty and kind. She uses it to make her hair blonder, her eyes bluer, her nose straighter, and her feet tinier and tinier and tinier. So she's an adorable little doll feet, so no one can borrow her shoes. 
and she takes advantage of I'm gorgeous, especially thanks to all these magical plastic surgeries. So that all the men in town want her, despite that it's already gross enough that the legal age is 16 and she ain't there yet. But she's already hooked up with pretty much every husband in town. So she doesn't exactly have any friends because you hooked up with my husband or you hooked up with my dad. So every woman hates your guts and all the guys do what she says because she's pretty and they don't want her to get mad and tell their wives who pretend that they don't know. So yeah, she might be like a 14, 15 year old tramp. <laughs> so yeah, not exactly. She's even less of a role model than normal and they're getting ready to throw a ball to get the prince a wife. Yeah. So that, that tracks. And so she, you know, she has to go make the dresses for her stepsisters and has to do all this stuff. She's not allowed to go to the ball because, yeah, she's her. But they know she's pretty, so they don't like her. It's like, she, they, you know, it's like, all right, I'm trying to marry off my daughters. I don't need any more competition than everyone in town already. And she wants to distinguish herself because she wants to be queen. In, which I'd pretend that's noble, except for she admits she's going to be the evil queen. That's it. Like, that's like, what's the point of being queen if you can't tell everyone to do what you want or kill them? And her goal is she, I'm going to be queen so that I can torture my stepmother and stepsisters. And everyone will have to obey me because I will be powerfully evil. So she goes and gets... She makes her dresses and then has Fairy Godmother make her a black dress to show her how different and evil she is. And the prince notices and yeah, you know, he he meets her first off because Cinderella chases his daughter Snow White. Yeah, this ain't just normal Prince Charming. He's already had one wife and who is dead under circumstances we'll find out later and has Snow White so she goes from having an evil stepmother to going to be the evil stepmother and she is an evil stepmother it's the first time she meets Snow White she tries to beat the crap out of her in front of her father and he's oh yeah Snow White quit being so annoying it, it, it's okay girl <laughs> yeah yeah, just because you tried to yank her hair out right in front of me doesn't mean that you'd be, you're a bad mother to be and I shouldn't like you. So that, you know, clue number one that they deserve each other. She's trash, he's trash. And a bird just tried to take us out. I don't know if you heard that, but somehow pigeons cannot tell red curtains from see-through. But I can... They do that often enough, I can tell by the thump. No one's actually hurt. I'm just a little dizzy. <laughs> Thankfully, because unlike Cinderella, I actually love animals. But we get there, and Cinderella does get her prince. But she eventually realizes that he's as much a piece of trash as she is. And just as I want to torture literally everybody in my life as much as she does, so... She tries to run away and ends up, against her will, married. So, yeah, that it's a fun little messed up story. And it definitely has, it leans into the others that are, I said, I'm already on the fourth book. And there's nods to some other ones. Like, we get little bits and pieces of fairy tales that aren't strictly named as well because the series covers Cinderella, Snow White, Rapunzel, and Belle. But we get nods to, you know, Sleeping Beauty and, you know, Frozen as well. So it's fun. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Go check that one out and have a great day. Bye. Happy reading.